Hello everyone, this is Tyler Gaxtetter with RS Geospatial and we are going to go over how to add GNSS metadata fields to uh, your layers in ArcGIS Pro. Uh, this can also apply to ArcMap. Um, basically the, you know, the tool being used is, the, uh, is a, basically a Python script put out by Esri that's available on GitHub and so you can import that tool either into ArcGIS Pro or ArcMap. Okay, so in ArcGIS Pro, when we create a new map, it's going to create automatically create a default database for this project. So let's open database. So we got my project 39 database. Right click, do a new feature class. Eventually here. Come on. Okay, there we go. So let's first let's name the feature class. So I'm gonna do uh, let's see. I'm just gonna label it point because this is has to be a point layer. Uh, Genesis metadata is only collected on point layers, not on polygons and polylines. Uh, I think that may be coming in the future, but for now it's more limited to points here. So no M, and you want no Z value, no Z value. As in in collector, the uh, the values are stored as attributes. That's the whole point of this. Um, we'll leave that. Okay. Hit run. So this is just creating our basic feature class. No attribute fields. No nothing. Just geometry only and so once that's done we can run the collector tool and it'll add our our fields automatically now keep in mind that it's going to add these fields this is going to append these fields to the existing ones and so if you want to add any if you need to add any fields for actual data collection we need to add them now before we run the tool on it so let's do let's just do it uh you know description about that Text. And there we go. Okay. Moving on. So before we run the tool, we need to actually add the tool to the ArcGIS toolbox. As you can see here, we have none available to us. And so if you go under toolboxes, right click and hit add toolbox. Now we can search for our collector folder. Okay, there we go. So under collector tools, collector utilities, and the toolbox there. Hit OK, and now we have another item in the menu for the collector utilities. Uh, now this was a little bit confusing to me at first, and I'm sure it was to others as well, but uh, there's offline tools and online tools. Basically, offline tools have to do with configuring the database before it's put up on ArcGIS Online. And, um, and well, really there's only one online tool, but it's configure the GNSS pop-up, and that's, that's just to be able, so that you can display the GNSS fields um, like in a web map. Um, so I'll do add genus made jewels. I'll go over the project Z tool in another tutorial. Um, just go ahead and double click this to run it. And it's asking for input feature class. And so, to, you know, it could be anywhere. This could be a, a layer up in ArcGIS Online already. This could be a layer in some geo database in another file. It doesn't have to be necessarily added into the map here. Um, so we can search our whole, you know, my whole computer and my whole ArcGIS Online account just right here. And that's it. There's no, you just 
point the tool to the layer and run it. There's no additional input from, from the user at all. So we'll hit run, and so now we have the fields, uh, we have the fields window open here, and so we should actually should see them populate. Okay, and it's done. So now, design fields. Now you can see we have all of our Esri GNSS attribute fields. Those ones right there. Automatically configured, data types already set, field name, field alias, everything's already set. And so now, I can upload this up to ArcGIS Online. I can add it to a web map and um, make the layer editable. And so when I open it up in Collector and take a point using either external GPS or internal GPS, it'll it'll automatically populate these fields with the with latitude, longitude, 